Uh, so today I'm going to be working on a couple accessories that's going to be going into my guest bathroom uh, and it is being painted right now so hopefully next week I'll be able to start accessorizing it so I'm so excited about that uh, but I have told you before that this mermaid uh, absolutely fell in love with this mermaid when I saw her but she is my inspiration piece for my bathroom uh, I did not have any idea at all what I was going to do with that bathroom uh, so I walked into Hobby Lobby one day and I saw this mermaid and I thought, wow, she's gorgeous. I love it. But where could I, where could I put her in my home? You know, where, where would she fit? Uh, so I walked around the store and I kept thinking and, and then I'm like, oh, my bathroom. Oh my goodness, I can, I can put her into my bathroom. So um, all of my accessories are kind of, you know, I drew my inspiration from her, the way she is uh, finished off here and everything. Um, you guys are going to hear chainsaws again today. Sorry. The last couple of days have been absolutely a madhouse around here, so there was no way I could make a video. So, but anyway, today may be kind of that way as well. Uh, but anyway, um, all of my accessories are going to be themed after her, not necessarily mermaids, but anything maybe to do with the sea. Uh, for instance, I have these shelves that I'm going to be adding uh, to the wall. There's three of them. Now, you say, where in the world, how does that go with a mermaid? Well, my mind kind of goes in overdrive sometimes. So I imagine this piece of wood, it looks like kind of like driftwood with some iron on it. I was just thinking, oh my goodness, that may have been a wrecked, you know, a, a ship that had sunk in the ocean. And this is what was left of it. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I have three of those that I'm going to be working on. And I'll be showing you on just one. Uh, also, I have these shower curtain hooks. Now, yeah, I found the perfect design because see, they match her little, her little, <laughs> her little clam shells there, except hers have a little blue in them and I could not find any with blue. So guess what? I'm also going to be adding some blue to these today. Also, this piece of coral that is absolutely gorgeous, but I wanted it to have a little bit of blue in it as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And uh, it's just a dry brush technique. It's very simple, very easy. So if you find something that you know needs a little color to, to match your home, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's just so much fun and, and so very easy. That's what I love about it. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to uh, dry brush, add a little bit of blue color to um, all of these accessories that's going into my guest bathroom. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a, a stiff brush. I mean, it doesn't have to be really stiff. You can use one like this. You can use these little round brushes like this. Um, but I do prefer the, kind of the longer ones. Uh, but you can use whatever is comfortable for you. Also, get some paint that, um, you know, is the color that you want. And then, of course, you're gonna have the items that you want to uh, paint. Uh, now, I'm just going to do a dry brush technique on this. I'm just gonna add a little color. I do not want to cover up um, all of this cream color of this shell um, because I do kind of want it to look like her here. <laughs> kind of look like hers. Can you guys see how they just got a little bit of blue on there? And that's what I want to do for these shower curtain hooks. So I'm just gonna dab a little paint there on my brush. Don't need a lot. But I'm going to uh, wipe most of this off and that is why they call it a dry brush technique because it's not going to be loaded with paint. It's just gonna be a little paint on there. And you're just going to brush down your item and it's going to slowly leave, um, I'm hoping you can see this, leave color on your shell. And you can add as little or as much as you want. So that is just a very easy way to add a little bit of color to uh, something that you want to pop just a little bit because you don't want it to be plain. And um, I know that these shells are normally this color, but for my bathroom, I wanted them to have a little pop of color. And that is all that you do to those. And those are just um, absolutely so pretty and so easy to do here on my eye. I just need a little bit more. But that's the good thing about this. If you don't have enough, you know, you can just add just a little bit more. There we go. So very, very pretty. So I'm gonna do just one more here. Cause I have 12 of these to do. <laughs> And they're all, another good thing about this, they all um, are gonna look just a little bit different. So they're not gonna be exactly the same, which is okay with me. I kinda like that, but um, you know what? 
And there we go. And it's just as quick and as easy as that. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do the same technique uh, to is this shelf. And like I told you, um, can I move the things aside? Because this is much bigger. Um, <clears throat> like I told you, this reminds me of maybe a an old ship that sunk and then this is the piece of wood that is left you know it's kind of all rotted and floating and and um then this is the some of the iron work that was in it and i've already kind of started a little blue trim can you see that how it's a little bit differently see that's the color the wood was just plain wood and then i'm just gonna add just a little bit of blue to that and i did it on the sides as well but i'm gonna also do it to uh, the top piece of this wood even though i'm gonna sit stuff on it and you're not gonna see it well, I'll know that that is a little blue under there and also if some of it is peeking out, you know, from under your accessory. So you just do the same thing. Make sure your brush is kind of dry and you're just going to, now you can use a bigger brush for this project, but being as I have this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So we're just gonna add just a little bit of blue and just, you know, you're gonna have to keep that brush just, uh, you know, you're gonna have to keep dipping back into your paint because you do kind of want it dry, so. can see this because it's not a uh, strong uh, look to it of blue but I did want a little bit in there so I'm hoping you can see it but as you can see some of the areas were thicker and some were lighter and that's the way that you want to do it just don't um, take as much off of your brush when you want it a little bit thicker um, you don't want it you know like a full coat on there so um, still take some off the brush just not as much as you would to really just put a thinner a section of it so anyway that is how easy that is you're going to do the same technique on anything like this that uh, you're going to dry brush okay let's set that aside <clears throat> now this right here is a piece of coral and it's beautiful just like this like i said but i wanted to also have just a little bit of blue on it and i kind of have started the bottom there so it would be kind of dry and i could sit it down and wouldn't know uh, get it messed up but you're going to now this one I really dried my brush quite a bit because I only want the little sections of this coral that's kind of sticking up to be painted I don't want inside you know down in the bottom part of the coral to be painted so <clears throat> kind of get your brush really dry and you're just going to brush over it just gently and it's going to start just taking that paint right off of your brush because it is very <clears throat> very rough here. Sorry y'all, I think I'm getting a cold, so I keep having to clear my throat. So, isn't that so pretty? Love it, love it! And as you can see, starting to pick up that blue. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love it. Um, there is another one of these that I found. It's a really huge piece. <clears throat> Excuse me again. And I may, um, Go get that piece and actually just sit that one in my floor because in the bathroom because it is gorgeous, gorgeous. But I did want this one for um, the size in particular for my shelf. Okay, so that's just gonna about do it for this piece of coral. Now I did not cover it all. I just give it a little hint of blue and I think that just added a lot to this piece of coral. So as you can see, they kind of, cause they kind of look alike, don't they? Uh, but anyway, I don't know, did I tell you um, what kind of paint I was using? 
This is just uh, something that I got at Hobby Lobby. Now you can use any kind of paint, acrylic, whatever you want. So, uh, but anyway, um, you can use just the regular little craft acrylic paint if you want as well. Um, but these turned out oh so cute. Loving it, loving it. Still have some more of the clamshells that I still need to paint. But anyway, uh, getting closer to starting uh, to accessorize my guest bathroom. That's going to be oh so much fun. Okay, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gives you some ideas on how you can change up your colors if things are just not quite matching the way you want them to. Uh, now, if I had found these shower hooks and they had been a totally different color, I would have first painted them completely this creamy color and then done the dry brush technique over them. So, if you can find something that works and you just need to repaint it, go right ahead. Paint is amazing. I love paint. So anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.